Hi there, friends. How are you guys doing? Happy New Year. It is New Year's Day, and um, it's Friday, and Fridays are my live days over on Facebook with hair. So today, before heading over there to do some hair tutorials, hi, sweetie. How are you? Um, I thought I would hop on and get my face on. So hopefully, um, if you're new to Saint Makeup, formerly Mascara Beauty, um, all my makeup comes in one little compact. Um, I upgraded recently and I'm waiting for my new compacts to come in. They had some killer deals there at the end of the year. Hopefully you guys were able to snag some up. But um, I'm going to do a really light application today and show you how um, kind of like my everyday makeup looks. I'm a mom of two. I have chipped off nail polish on. Hi, sweetie. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, I don't have time for just all the glam all the time. So um, here's just kind of my everyday wear. And I'm going to use our blend brush. It used to be formerly called the Best Blend Forever brush. Um, I like this for a really soft, natural application. It's more on the lighter side, not like medium or heavy. And um, the other brush that I will use that I love is our Detail Brush. This one gets in for my contouring. I just love it. It also has the detailed end. Um, so just amazing, right? The new brushes will be are on the website now that are Saint branded. We just finished our Boxing Day sale and all of our mascara branded brushes like these um, went like flying off the shelf. So um, this month, I'm just gonna get started while I talk. This month is our anniversary. It is Saint's um, fourth birthday and it is also, well, anniversary birthday I don't know what you want to call it. And it is my anniversary, my one year anniversary. So I had signed up to be an artist with this amazing company um, one year ago on January 17th. Now this year, the birthday, January 17th is actually the official start of the um, company launching for its social sellers. And this year, the 17th is on a Sunday. So they are actually having their birthday party on the 15th, which is a Friday. And I am so excited. I know it is going to be amazing. Um, they do some awesome giveaways. They have some amazing releases coming out um, for the public and what else? Oh, it is also the only, what is with this side? The only time ever that uh, the company offers a incentive to any new artists joining. So obviously that's why I decided to join on that day because you get a little something, something extra versus joining any other day of the year. And this year it is... Um, along with your kit, a $65 voucher, um, basically like free spending money to the company. I believe there are some exclusions. I don't know what those exclusions are. It says it will be on the voucher, but I am super excited for that and to see what it is. Hi, ladies. So I just contoured around my face. I usually leave my nose to contour after and I'm just going in very softly on this redness here with um, the color amber. And I'm just kind of like color correcting. I'm going to try to do half my face so you guys can really see the difference that this makeup can do for you. Can I zoom in? I think I can. Boom. There we go. Okay. We're getting real here. So, um... I am starting to color correct that redness out on this side. And like I said, I'm going to leave this side open. I did already contour, obviously. But I want you to see really the difference that this makeup can do. It's all cream-based foundation. 
I love teaching and sharing my application and just really about the products because they are just so amazing. They are unlike anything you have ever used before, I guarantee it. So I'm not touching everywhere here, but I'm just primarily getting in this red zone. And that's just going to correct. Another thing, I love this brush, I love this brush. Another thing um, that most people um, don't realize is if you're not color correcting, if you put just a main shade foundation, um, regardless of like brand or anything, over top of redness, or let's say you have dark circles under your eyes, etc. Um, eventually throughout the day, it's going to wear off. It's going to wear. And do you know grease bucket for your skin? How does it do with that? So I know it seems scary because a cream-based foundation over top of oily skin can seem very scary. Um, there are a few tips and tricks for that. So I will say every skin type out there, um, every skin type out there looks amazing with this makeup on. The thing with oily skin, there's you, there's actually two reasons typically for oily skin. The first one is your face is actually drier and your face is generating those oils because your face is actually dehydrated and it's trying to hydrate it. So wearing a cream-based foundation helps to keep your face hydrated and your face actually over time um, gets used to the hydration around your face and stops producing so many oils. I learned that with joining this company and it is amazing to see. The second thing with oily skin um, if you truly, truly, it is not dry, overcompensating, and needing hydration, and you truly do have oily skin, what we can do is there is, um, I don't even have any of my setting sprays in here. They're all in my other bedroom on my display. But if you take setting spray, I really like Urban Decay um, All Nighter. No, D-Slick. D-Slick. Um, all Nighter is for normal skin. D-Slick is for oily skin. By Urban Decay, um, I'm sure you can get it on like Amazon, Sephora, um, Ulta, lots of places that probably sell it. Um, and I take that. In the summertime, I do get some oily skin, right? And you're a little bit sweatier in the summertime. So I like to take a blending bead um, or like a sponge. I don't know what you might call them. That one looks horrid, but like, you know, one of these, this one has some powder on it. Um, but, and I spray the setting spray on the sponge directly, a dry sponge. And I, um, hit wherever I'm naturally oily, saturating it. I don't spray my entire face, just saturate the sponge and damp wherever you're oily. Maybe it's mostly in the T-zone. Maybe it's your entire face. I don't know. But, um, targeting those areas with a setting spray ahead of time. Hi, lovelies. Happy New Year, Nataline. Oh, thank you so much for joining. Hi, Sarah. So yes, that is um, one of the best benefits I can tell you about um, our cream-based and that. So setting spray before makeup um, helps with keeping the oils at bay. The second thing that you'll, do you see the difference already? Do you see this? Um, the second thing is, obviously, you could use a setting powder after. You could use um, definitely setting spray after. I prefer, I mean, I, honestly, my go-to is always never to cover up the cream with a powder. Um, I do it more in the summertime, but my everyday, like, on-the-go look is going to be keeping the cream as natural as possible because um, it's closest to what your skin looks like, right? So you can already see the difference. I've only done in this section, color corrected, brightened. This side has nothing. It is just flawless and it looks like skin. I haven't done anything down here except my contour, so don't worry about that. And I gotta blend that, but um, it just looks flawless. It looks like you're not wearing makeup. 
Like you're wearing makeup, but you're not wearing makeup. You don't see it. You see your skin. You still see your pores. You still see you never use the powder because of the lines on your face. I totally feel you there. Um, so I actually like to use that brightener color. I didn't even talk about my comeback. So um, on my top decker is my normal shade slash color corrector, my brightener. I've got two lip colors in here. This is bronzer and this is my contour. Then we'll talk about the bottom one. So that brightener color is actually what I like to put here along my jawline and I just kind of buff it out because you can tell like my neck is fair. I am somewhat fair, but this redness that I have all over my face makes me not so fair. And that's where I was going with this. With the color corrector on there, anyways, first, Danielle, if you have oily skin, girl, I know this could work for you. Trial and error, we can get you set up and you will love it. Next, um, if you do not color correct that redness, if you do not put a darker shade on, if you are someone who goes in under your eyes with those dark circles and you are globbing on um, that contour stick, what is it, not contour stick, concealer stick, and just gobbing it all over to try to matte over top of that dark circle, it is not going to do you any good. It's going to wear off through the day. If you do have mature skin, it is going to, uh, I can tell I have like this one little zit area right here that needs a little extra saturation. Do you see how that just disappeared? It's magic. Um, so uh, if you do have, if you're doing that and you do have, sorry, oily, oily, dark circles under those eyes and you're putting that big swab, oh, it is just going to be like horrific noticeable. You are not going to like it. It's going to wear off through the day. Um, like Natalie said about the powders under your eyes, it just, it doesn't look good, ladies. Let's try to make the skin breathe. And we all know, so I did, whoops, so I did a live um, last week no, Tuesday. It was still this week. Anybody lose track of what day it is during the holidays? I tell ya. Okay, so I'm um, going to be finished in this part with this side. So I'm going to start over here now. Um, so where was I? My brain's going 100 miles an hour right now. I'm so excited for you ladies to see and watch the magic happen. Um but it's going to just wear off throughout the day. If you're putting big old gobs of powder under your eyes, it's just going to wear off. Um, it's going to crease in. It's going to sit in those lines. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty at all. Get that acne spot. You see that redness right there under my nose? We gotta cover that puppy up. Okay, so I've got that down. It's matched the same tone and depth of that redness. Now I'm gonna go back in with that brightener and just pull it back together. I love, love, love this makeup. Hi, Kimmy. Thanks for joining. And I just kind of do a light wash with that brightener over my lid. I do have some actual, um, when I get glammed up, like full on, like wedding makeup, let's say, or like event makeup, like I'm going, not I'm in a wedding, well, that, or I'm going to a wedding, etc. cetera. Um, and I do want to use an actual eye primer. One of my favorites is NYX Eye Primer in the shade Skin Tone. It is fantastic it's um matches skin tone it helps to obviously it's an actual primer for your lids and if you do have like discoloration up on top um it really helps to mask that so happy new year i hope you guys enjoyed your new year last night new year's eve we um if you're new to this page and new to me i have a 
three-year-old and my daughter will be five this month. I can't even believe I'm saying that, like five-year-old. Um, I don't know where the time goes, but because of them, we uh, were in bed well before midnight and did not see any balls drop, did not see, I don't even, we didn't even actually have it on um, watching like any of the news stations that would have had like a show going um, because the kids wanted to watch a movie and yeah, the hubs and I just didn't, didn't do that. Okay, so now I've got that brightener all around. I'm gonna check myself around here. I get these pockets like right under here of acne. So I'm just going in and buffing those in. There. Okay. Um, I am going to go through and contour my nose now. And I'm going back in with the detail brush. Um, so yeah, like we had probably the most lax New Year's Eve party. I wouldn't call it a party because it wasn't a party ever. Um, but it was nice. We ordered pizza from a local pizza joint, had it delivered, and some dessert, and it was a good night. It was a good night. What am I doing here, guys? Boom. Let's uh, buff that out. Okay. Am I focused yeah so anyways that was our night last night I'm just bringing the sides up a little bit when you do contour your nose you really want to make sure you're not dragging that contour down you want to keep it up on the bridge and then I like to just brighten on the sides so the sides get brighter and the bridge is what gets the the color if you will okay Boom. I feel like I gave myself like a crooked nose there for a second, so I had to go in and correct that. Okay. Um, for my bronzer, I'm gonna go back, I'm just gonna keep using that same brush, and I'm just dabbing into the Bella bronzer. This is our cream bronzer. We do have a powder bronzer, like I mentioned. I do like to use the powder bronzer around my temples in the summertime and hairline, just because it really helps it's, it's a lighter shade, and since I am lighter in color, I like it um, in the summertime, and it helps to just spice up, spice up, take away those, uh, those uh, sweaty foreheads and temples in the summer and whatnot. Okay, so your bronzer application actually doesn't go in the same place that your contour goes. So just want to make sure everyone's aware of that. I do like to bronze down my neck. So I start there and then I just kind of wiggle it out. Boom. Thanks so much for joining me, girls. Say hello when you hop on. Okay. My next two colors are my lip colors. So I'm going to go in with, this is Sadie. She is uh, almost like a lip gloss. You can tell there's very little change in actual color. I know she looks like she would be a nude. This is actually nude. Um, this one, Sadie, I like her more. Hi, Michelle. I like her more just as a lip gloss. So I like to put her right on my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my same brush. This one, I'm going into nude. Um, I've dabbed probably one too many times actually on that. You really need the least amount of product to go on your face. And I just swirl it right there on that apple in my cheek and go right up and just kind of marry those together. And same on this side. I have always been a blush girl. I know some girls that, um, you know, I'll send them over a color match and they tell me that I don't really wear blush and stuff like that. Girl, what are you missing out on? Blush is beautiful. And like this color is nude. It's very natural. 
It's very calm. It's not like a bright hot pink. I don't know if like people got uh, low cray cray there in the 80s with those hot, hot pinks and scared you away, but don't be scared, okay? Don't be scared. All right, so I think I'll go with just my main face. I totally could throw on some mascara and walk out the door with this. I do it all the time. But I'm gonna take you down to the second Decker. Decker. <laughs> so these used to be called, before Saint changed their names around on us, this used to be called the mini double Decker. You can see it's got the two platforms. They fit the same amount of tins, just a top and a bottom. I keep all my powders on the bottom. Um, and now this is called like palette 12, I believe, because it can fit 12 tins. So, um, I keep all my eyeshadows. I do have my setting powder. I have that, um, uh, Cayman, the powder bronzer that I just talked about. And then I have an illuminator that I choose as a powder. I love this because guys, these can also go as eyeshadows. The makeup is so versatile. Absolutely love it. So, Let's get started on the eyes, and this one's gonna be like real quick. First thing I like to do is actually start with my brows, so I'm gonna use our hotline brush. And I'm gonna go into this color here, it's called Coco. It is gorgeous. Um, I recently dyed my hair. Also, if you don't know me that well, I do my own hair like all the time. And I uh, cut, color it myself. I can't usually keep my hands off it. Um, because I like change and I like versatility. And so Christmas Eve, I decided to color my hair and do like this. It, the box, literally the box was called Auburn. And I think it, I think it matches pretty well. It's a pretty like reddish Auburn tone. So I really feel like this cocoa is going to help bring my, uh, I'll stick that back there bring my brows to matching. That's what I like to call um, or think of cocoa is more of like that auburn color. So I just go up on the bottom, do a line coming up. I like to go down, thank you. I like to go down like so on top. So I start on this outer corner and something you will notice so i used to have my eyebrow pierced and i still have the holes there i know so many things you ladies probably don't know about me um but so i go up and then i go up to that corner and then i come down on the on the top side that just helps me to get a little more of that arch especially on this eye you guys i don't know if you can tell if i'm resting face this one is to me so much more linear i'm trying so hard to not make a facial expression and um this one has that just beautiful like we all have a good eyebrow and a bad eyebrow right this one comes up beautifully comes down needs a little filling in some shaping whatever but this one it's like i gotta pick it up like pick the girls up or something because it doesn't like staying up there and then i go back through and kind of come on top shape the top over to that almost like fake arch that I now made for myself. Do you see that? And it's it's amazing what a little bit of just some shadow in the brows can do for you. So I'm just gonna pick in here. Um, I, I just like to do very fine little strokes. I'm really just like trying to fill this in. I'm not trying to you know, re, re completely form something, especially up here. I don't want any hard definition lines, right? You're just very natural up there, very natural. Okay, so I'm gonna do quickly the same to the other side. So I go straight line off the bottom up to the corner curve where it's gonna start. Then I go down and I love this brush because I can just spoolie right after um, I'm done, like you see me do on the other eye there, and just kind of like buff it, buff it out. Buff the hair strokes. And that's really it. And then, like I said, I just kind of come in here and just no harsh lines, natural brow, natural movement and tweak that up. 
this eyebrow takes me way less time. Like I said, it's like my, my good brow. There. And eyebrows are going to be more like sisters, not like twins. I think I say that almost every time I do my eyebrows because I want them to match so perfectly and they will not because they are not twins, they are sisters. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, say hi when you guys hop on. Okay, I'm gonna use, um, I'm actually gonna use my Cayman, let me like clean off this brush a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna use my Cayman setting powder and go over my eye with a light wash of that. Um, I'm sorry, Cayman is not a setting powder. <laughs> my Cayman bronzer. And do just a light wash. You can see I started it on the lid and I'm going all the way up to that brow. And that just gives it a good base because I did go over it with that cream, um, my highlight color, almost like a primer and you never want to straight up put shadows over top of your primer um a cream like that you always want to put kind of a powder in between them you'll get much better um blending okay blending between the colors so that's just kind of like my my wash my base my transition color Many people probably call it many different things. That's what I like to call it. So it's just like my wash color transition. Um, based on my attire today, I just threw these in my palette. I have a whole nother palette full of eyeshadows, but these just kind of spoke to me. I don't really know what I'm going with here. This one is Crush, which I really love and kind of tunes in with my mama sweater for the day. I am in comfy clothes, y'all. Um, and this is Leo, which has that orange, beautiful, just ties right in. This is Stardust, and she is gorgeous. This is my Illuminator Glamazing. She is gorgeous. I, I like a little bit of like a matte mixed in with a shimmer. I can do that on my eyes pretty well. Um, and maybe we'll get some heat in there, some of that cocoa in there on the end to just add a little flare. So I'm just going to go in. This is our, um, what is this? Eyeshadow brush. I think it's very generic. Again, they changed the names around and everything got so generic on me. So I'm going to go in with a detailed end. I want to make sure I don't have past color on here. I probably should have brought my brush cleaner in and did a little swipey swipey on them. But from my shadow look the other day. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Leo, tap off the excess, and where am I going with Leo? The center on out. Actually, we're just gonna do the whole lid. We're just gonna do the whole lid here. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna turn the brush around because I still have um, very, very little of that setting, not setting powder, I keep wanting to call it setting powder, my Cayman bronzer um, in there. And that's just, just gonna help transition that up and blend those together. Do you see how easy that was? I'm gonna pick up what I tapped off last time, tap off any excess, always tap off the excess, otherwise you're gonna have fallout. One reason I actually like to do uh, my eyeshadows first before I even do the rest of my face. But then I feel like I look weird, so <laughs> I don't, when I'm on camera, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, next, um, anytime I use my shimmers, I like to use my fingers, so I'm gonna hold off on that real quick. I wanna add some depth. I think this one's emerald, beautiful, but I think she's gonna be just a little too much right now to pair with. I think I'm gonna take some of that Leo actually and go under my eye, so I'm tapping off. We're just going by the seat of our pants. Look at that. Now, orange and purple are opposite each other on the color wheel. You feel me? Red and green are opposite on the color wheel. I have hazel eyes, you might be able to tell in the thing. Um, in the picture, they're mostly green, but I got touches of brown around them. Green eyes look beautiful with purple, right? Um, they just make each other pop because the one of the colors, green, look at the color wheel, right? Blue and red 
make purple and red and green are opposite each other. So anything that is in that realm that red is tied to is going to be a pop color for green. So red transitioned to um, red and yellow make orange is going to make green pop. Red and blue make purple, it's gonna make green pop. So if you're ever wondering what eyeshadow colors will look good with your color of eyes, always go to the three opposite of your eye on the color wheel, whatever your color is on the wheel. So if you're um, blue eyes, you would be opposite of blue, which is orange. Um, so you could do orange, any reds and any yellows would look absolutely gorgeous on your lids as well. Then you also have, if you have that color of eyes, if you wear that color, like if you have blue eyes, you wear blue, it's obviously going to make them just pop as well. So a few things, um, a few little tips on how I like to choose best eyeshadows. Okay, so those are blended. Uh, those are underneath. This one could use just a titch more. I don't know about you ladies, but this is nap time for my kiddos. That's why I like to... This is when I get mommy time. Kids get nap time, I get mommy time. I get to come on here and hang out with you guys and I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of color and depth. I'm gonna go into that cocoa, same end of that brush. One, two, tap, tap off any excess. And I'm gonna go outside this lid here on an upward angle and just press. And I'm coming back towards the top of the lid and press. And then I'm gonna tap. And I like to, if you need to close one eye, if you need to squint, if you need to hold one eye down, you can do that. Um, I typically um, can, I'm getting snag a little bit more. I can typically close a little bit of the one eye and see. Because what I wanna make sure is that I'm gonna be able to see this when my eyes are open. This is a perfect, tip for anybody who has, I'm just going to take that fluffy end and start bl bluffing, buffing, not bluffing, this into the crease and up on my brow bone. So if you have hooded eyes, which means that the skin up here above your eye sinks down and you're not going to see that depth between the two, it basically kind of hides your lid I'm just buffing this up on that bone so that way when my eyes are resting, you can still see it, right? Do you, can you see it? Because oftentimes when we do our eyeshadows, we raise our eyebrows, we can really get in there, we can really see it, and then when we go throughout the day, it's like, uh, now I can't see anything. So just make sure whenever you're applying your makeup, you're resting your eye and checking and making sure you're getting it on that bone. So I'm gonna go a little higher there. And then buff it out. So that way, and another good tip is, if you can, have a dry brush like that you're not actually applying colors with handy to do that buffing because then it won't have any pigment or colors on it anyways. So that one's done there. I'm gonna come over on this side. And one of the reasons I'm going in an uplifting motion there on the corner, I'm taking like the corner of my eye as it comes up and starting right there and going up to the corner of my eyebrow. That's just gonna give your eyes the illusion of being more lifted. If you stay down, like if I were to start way down here or something, it's just gonna look like my eyes are dragging down even further. Um, and we don't want that, right? We want to see it, we want lifted eyes. Boom, tap, 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 tap. And then, let's buff that in. Buff it around. So, uh, another thing about our eyeshadows is Guys, they are so pigmented. So, so pigmented. Like, these will last so long. A little bit goes such a long way. Everything is buildable. 
just checking. Let's soften this line a little bit more. Look at that. Bring it in. Gorgeous. Okay, then I'm gonna take my finger into crush and circle it in. Like I said, if you're using a shimmer color, it's gonna be better to see. I'm gonna need a mirror. It's gonna be better to see with, um, if you use your finger for application. So I'm just softly putting that in the inner corner of my lid and moving to the center, but I'm not coming out here in the outer corner. Get a little bit more. I hope you guys can see this. Boom. There. Can you see that? Gorgeous. Same on this side. Getting in that inner corner and moving out. Okay. Then lastly, for my eyes, before I move on to a little bit of liner and mascara, I'm going to go in with this Glamazing. And first thing I'm going to do is put a titch under that brow bone. That just helps to lift, give the illusion of a little bit even more lift there. So I'm going to pop that on, soften it out with the corner there. I'm going to put a little bit in the inner corner here. So just like a little pocket of pop in here. Boom. Boom. Um, I might touch a little bit on the top here. Um, so illuminator, you guys might be used to that being called highlight and what we call like our main foundation colors is what we call highlight. So it's a little different, I would say, than most beauty products out there, the way that they named Saint products. And then I'm just cleaning up that line underneath and outside, like I said, in case you have any fallout. Dragging that up. Boom. Um, for a liner, I'm gonna go back in with that um, same brush that I did my eye brows with. And I'm gonna use the same color, that cocoa. So I'm just gonna dab into it, tap off any excess. And I am actually going to go right under and into these lashes. And I just wiggle that back and forth into the top outer corner of these lashes. I hope you can see me. So I don't actually swipe. Um, we do have eyeliner. Ooh, got some in my eye that time. <laughs> we do have actual eyeliner, but I like to use the shadows like this. It just helps to tie, in my opinion, the look together. And I don't like my eyeliner to be really thick, but I do want my eye eyelashes to seem more um, full, right? So you can already tell just that little bit on that top helped lifted it, brought it better together than, than this side. So I'm going to do the same over here. Just wham, bam. Always tap off or you're gonna get that fallout and you don't want the fallout. And just go right in and wiggle. Right under those lashes and wiggle. Okay, now I'm just gonna take this and softly loosen up my eyelashes. Prep them for some mascara. Boom. And just quick get a wash between where that Glamazing hit and this one. I feel like the mailman or something is here. I don't even know, is mail delivering today? Because my dog is out there going cray cray. Okay, and we'll put some mascara on. This is Man Eater by Tarte. Um, it is like on its last life line. Um, so we'll see how well it does here today. And I just start and wiggle up. I feel like I can see a lash. Like it's going to go in my eye. Maybe not.
and then I just softly blink and coat them one, two, three, as many times as I possibly can. So let's get to the other eye. I sometimes I do a second layer. Sometimes I don't. Just depends on how well they're coming together. Or in this case, not. Because you don't want them to come together. Right? Okay, let's try this side. I'm going to go in the back side and swoop. Get any definition I maybe missed back there. And I see I just touched my lid. Gosh darn it, don't you hate when that happens. Okay, awesome trick though to get rid of it. Um, and let's get a little underneath. Not a whole lot. Okay. Boom. Your spoolie that we did like up into the brows and separated the lashes before putting mascara on, you're gonna take that, you're gonna let it dry a second, and then you're just gonna scrape, scrape it right off. Any small mascara pieces that touched your lid, it scrapes right off and doesn't mess up your mascara at all. Your mascara or your eyeshadow that you just did. And that is it, voila. I'm gonna, this side I feel like, needs just a little buff there and that's it you guys I think I'm trying to think that's all my makeup yes that is it so I hope you guys enjoyed this cool hopefully it was quick I don't even know I wasn't timing myself but just know all your makeup in one compact makes doing your makeup so much easier faster um it's it's just amazing double-ended brushes just swooping, you see me going back and forth. I love it. I cannot say enough good things about Saint Makeup. Stay tuned as well this month because we do have our birthday and I will be doing some giveaways. We will be having a little party. It's my own birthday celebration and I cannot wait to um, celebrate and share with you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Shoot me a DM. If you would like to get color match to get your own compact, we have many different sizes of compacts to choose from. Um, still some of these colorful ones, we are moving to our Saint branded ones that say Saint and this gorgeous matte black is in there. Um, but yeah, many different shapes and sizes. You can get even the big dog, which goes all the way up. I mean, all different sizes. Whatever is customizable to you, whatever fits your budget and your makeup needs and what you're looking for. And you can always get a bigger compact and build it up, right? Like a couple tins here, a couple tins there. Another amazing thing about this company is there is always free shipping. Always. Doesn't matter how much you order. That's here for the U.S. Um, there is shipping to Canada. Those are the two regions that we're currently working in is U.S. and Canada. So um, if you are in the U.S., then you will always have free shipping. There is absolutely no pressure anytime to order so much within an order. You can stick to a basic pack um, and just get a larger compact, which then gives you the options to get more tins later on, maybe in the summertime when you're a little bit darker of a shade because you're tanning and all that good stuff. So thank you so much, ladies, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, oh, yes. If you would like to get color matched, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I do have a link in my bio on my page. Um, it will either take you to right to my website, which you can get color matched right on my website. That is the best place or my color match form is out there as well. So Thanks. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with on your own too. All right. Have a great Friday. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.